None of the family slept particularly well for the rest of the night, if at all. In the morning, the kids were tired, but somehow relieved. At breakfast, they sat on cushions on the dining room floor, and crunched their toast and marmite, trying not to make too many crumbs. At least we know now," said Nafsi. "There's no more doubt about it. They really do exist." What exists? asked Mum. Ghosts, of course," replied the kids in unison. "You sure?" "Well, yes. Dad saw those two dogs walk through a door that was closed." Said Yogi excitedly. "Well, perhaps he was asleep and he dreamt it," said Mum with one of her little smiles. "Dad, were you asleep?" asked Nafsi. "I, uh, I don't think so," replied Dad. "Listen, unexplained things happen sometimes, yeah." That doesn't mean there's no explanation. It just means we don't know what it is. Mum explained. But he did see them, and Heracles saw them too," said Nafsi indignantly. Mum was clearly annoyed that her children were learning to believe in ghosts. She flashed Dad one of her stares, as if it was his fault, which perhaps it was. After all, he was the one who had brought them to this hotel. On Monday morning, Dad walked the kids to school before returning to start his day's work. His first Zoom meeting was with two executives from the Public Relations Agency. They were responsible for making sure that the world knew that the Dutch hotel was reopening. Mum had to help him set up his Zoom call because in his previous job as a chauffeur, he did not have to do that sort of thing. The PR women were Petronella and Emily. Even though they were calling from their homes, they were dressed up with plenty of jewellery. Both of them were tanned as if they had just returned from the south of France, which they probably had. In fact, they might still be there for all Dad knew. In their well-paid jobs, they travelled often, and stayed in luxurious hotels for free. But they had not yet experienced the Dutch hotel. Can you take us on a virtual tour? They asked. So Dad walked around the hotel with his phone, showing them all the nooks and crannies. Oh, it's gorgeous," declared Petronella. Though a bit spooky without any guests or furniture. We're never lonely here," said Dad. There are plenty of ghosts here. Are you kidding? No, that's the reputation," said Dad. How absolutely fabulous," declared Emily. "We can do a lot with a haunted hotel. It's a great marketing hook." Emily and Petronella were fast workers. It took them just ten days to set up the shoot with the photo and video production company. The hotel was still looking rather empty of furniture, but fortunately, at least a few beds and some tables and chairs arrived. Just in time, you would have thought that these days you could do a lot with just a camera phone, but the PR company had a budget to spend, and so they spent it. They arranged for a director, two camera operators, a makeup artist, a costume advisor, lighting, and half a dozen models, three men and three women. Zelda, the hotel's owner, came to watch. After all, it was her money they were burning. The kids were at home because it was half term. In a spare moment, the makeup artist gave them spooky makeup with ghoulishly white faces and dark eyes, and scarlet blood dripping from their mouths. 
The models were dressed up in the styles of the 1920s. The women wore feathers in their hair, and their skirts had high waists and stopped just above the knee. If you've ever seen the film of the Great Gatsby or an Agatha Christie mystery, you'll know what I mean. They would have puffed cigarettes in long cigarette holders, but you can't do that these days. The men wore dinner suits with black bow ties or plus fours, which are kind of golf trousers. Where are the ghosts? Asked Yogi, who now looked like a ghoul. Just a minute, called out a model who was still having his makeup done. He fitted some fake fangs in his mouth and stood up. He also wore spooky makeup and was wearing a cape. Yes, there was no mistake. He was Dracula. He posed by a marble fireplace with one of the female models, pretending to bite her neck. We'll add some more spooky stuff in post," explained the director. "Can't you email it?" asked Yogi. "Post production happens after the filming is all done," explained Zelda. The filming and posing for still photos took all day. And there were plenty of costume changes and rearranging of the lighting in various rooms. It took about a week before Dad received the video and the photos from the PR agency in his email. The video gave a good overview of the hotel and included some shots of horse riding in Hyde Park. Welcome to traditional elegance in the heart of London. Said the voiceover as the camera opened up to show the lobby with all its impressive marble and alabaster. They featured a pair of models sitting at a dinner table, looking refined and relaxed. The voiceover talked about the history of the hotel and the legend of the Dutch twins who had once owned it, and who had fought a duel. Only at the end did the voiceover say, "And if you call for room service this Halloween, you might meet a ghost." But don't worry, the spectres at the Dutch Hotel always extend a warm welcome. What do you think? Asked Dad. A bit lame, said Yogi. Not much horror at all. Well, we don't want to frighten off the guests, do we? Said Mum. They didn't even show the vampire biting a girl. Said Nafsi, disappointed. We've got a still image of that," said Dad, and he brought it up on the computer screen. We might use it in our Halloween advertisement. Any other scary stuff? Asked Yogi. No, not really," said Dad. But just as he spoke, his phone began to sound. It was Zelda, the hotel owner. Alan here," he answered. "Have you seen the shoot?" She asked. "Yes, we were just admiring the photos and the videos," replied Alan. "Did you notice anything unusual?" "No, not really," said Alan. "They'll check your email. I've just sent through another set of still images," said Zelda. Alan looked on his computer. He opened up the photos. These ones were black and white. They showed the hotel looking quite full of guests and staff, and the tables in the restaurant were full of rich-looking food. Some of the men were leaning back and smoking cigars. It's amazing what you can do in post," said Alan. "It looks like a full house." The thing is," said Zelda, "none of those people were added in post." When our designer added a black and white filter to the color photographs, all those people just appeared. You're kidding me. You know me," said Zelda. "I never joke about business." When Dad put the phone down, Mum was fuming. "Now this is getting quite silly," she said. Zelda is in on the scheme. She wants to spread the word the hotel is haunted to get publicity for the opening. All of you are just making this stuff up," 
But he's not on because it's frightening our kids. We're We're not scared, insisted Nafsi and Yogi. But Mum was not happy.